Wake up, Marcy! NA3HL that will not soon go away. Even though the Helena Bighorns were unable to overcome the Gillette Wild in Wyoming, the team remains strong. With wins over the Great Falls Americans, the Bozeman Ice Dogs, and the Butte Irish, Helena still remains one of the top-rated teams in the nation. One of the longest road trips of the season comes in December as Helena hits the road for two games in Rapid City, South Dakota to take on the Badlands Sabres. 
Since joining the league only three seasons ago, Badlands and Helena have shared some heated exchanges on the ice. Badlands penalty box, and now the gloves are off. Sonor and Cam Young. Center ice. Young of a shot. Sonora is exchanging blows. And now the Lionsmen step in to break him up. Cam Young and Ethan Sonora. Both head to their respective dressing rooms after dropping the gloves here at center ice. However, off the ice, these two organizations have found a camaraderie, particularly between the ownership groups of each team. Brendan Hodge with the Badlands Sabres, um, owner. Uh, I have two great partners in Vern Burris and Danny Bataccio that really, really help out. Well, it actually started uh, to be a thought process in my head back in 2011. Um, I was playing for the Rapid City Rush and uh, one of the owners had a, a kid that was coming up the youth, uh, the youth hockey uh, program here in town and I remember him asking me after a game, like, what are we missing here in town? And I said, well, what you're really missing here is junior hockey. And once I kind of retired from hockey and got into the hockey program here at the high school team, um, started realizing that we had some really good hockey players here in this town and they didn't have any direction. They didn't know what happened after high school. So while I was coaching, Vern Burris, my partner, was coaching with me and uh, we were uh, having dinner after a game one night and he just asked me, he's like, are you ever going to talk to me about junior hockey? And I was like, I didn't know you'd be interested. And uh, he said, yeah, I'm definitely interested. And then we, uh, we met a couple times. Went through the whole process with Frankenfeld and the NA and the NA3, and uh, we were lucky enough that Missoula um, was was willing to work with us and talk with us, bring the team here. And uh, you know, like you said, it's been three years. That's kind of the track that we're on right now with Brooks Metzel as our coach now. Um, he did a great job with recruiting, and uh, we're looking to build now. We're looking to kind of you know start to start to climb the ladder a little bit more. At the end of the day, the most important thing is, is helping these players get to college. I feel that Helena and Gillette are the teams that we want to kind of replicate a little bit. How they have the strong fan support, how they, have, how they run things, how they do things, the light show and all that stuff, the way that they, they do things. I know Vern and Mike have become very close with the ownership calls and all that kind of stuff and talking about different things, so again, our owners in our division are willing to call and talk to each other and ask each other questions and pick each other's brains. So, um, but my relationship with Helena has always been strong. It goes back to the first day that I ever came into that Helena Bighorn rink when Stan, I call him Stan the man. Stan the man uh, took care of me and made sure that I was comfortable. Uh, again, going back to us struggling for numbers last year. Um, I got a phone call from Cunningham, uh, the, the coach from Helena. And, Hey, I, I want to help you guys out. He didn't have to do that. And he called me personally to ask me if I would be interested in some help. And that's a great feeling to have when an opposing coach, a competitive coach, and I know Cunningham's a very competitive guy, um, but he was willing to help. Between that glass, it, it gets competitive. It gets really, really competitive. We're going to battle hard on the ice against each other, but after the game, like, I'm going to shake your hand and, and we go back to being, you know, uh, friends or, or owners or whatever you want to call it, uh, partners in this vision. Helena came out strong on Friday night, putting up a seven goal effort against Badlands. Goaltender Jesse Schindel earned a shutout. The Bighorns swept the weekend series in Rapid City after Saturday night's matchup. 
a much closer game than last night. Helena will now shift their focus towards preparing for the annual NA3HL Showcase in Blaine, Minnesota, only a few days away.